Hello 7th grade students, this is Mrs. Miller and the purpose of this video is to introduce you to methods of characterization and this is how we're going to be able to tell the qualities or character traits of a character. I am on page 186 in the textbook. If you are working from home then I have these pages right on the online class. You can just click on the link. It will take you to the PDF file and you can print it out or you're welcome to follow along in our online textbook. We're in Unit 2, um, Character and Point of View, and then this is the Text Analysis Workshop. Here we go. As you read, you get to know the characters. You meet the main characters. Those are the most important ones, so I'm going to highlight this definition here, as well as the less important, the less important minor characters. So there are two vocab words I need to know. Each character has a motivation or the reason behind his or her actions. So motivation is the reason behind his or her actions. A character has traits which are qualities such as bravery or sloppiness. So a character's traits are also known as qualities. A character's motivation and traits often drive the plot as the character reacts to events in the story. Writers use four methods of characterization to bring their characters to life. What do you learn about Cinderella's fairy godmother from each example? So methods of characterization, uh, that's the way that the writers bring their characters to life and those are listed right here right here on the side. Those are our four methods of characterization. We have physical appearance, thoughts, speech, and actions, other characters, and the narrator's comments. Those four things help us to understand a character. Let's read through this together. The first method of characterization is physical appearance. A narrator's description can tell you about a character. Ask what does the character look like? What are his or her expressions, gestures, or body language? I would like to use myself as an example. I want you all to think about the way that I look, the way that I come to class each day, uh, the facial expressions that I make, my body language, and based on that you should be able to figure out some of my qualities or some of my character traits. Please push pause on the video and turn and talk to the people next to you and discuss this. Let's look at an example from Cinderella, a story that we are all familiar with. The fairy godmother was wearing greasy overalls with a rusty garden fork sticking out of one back pocket. She brushed some dirt off her hands and smiled. So, in looking at her physical appearance, we can see that right now, anyway, she's a little bit dirty. She's wearing greasy overalls, um, and there's a rusty garden fork sticking out of one of her back pockets. But look at her facial expression. She smiles. So, maybe, maybe she's friendly. We're going to see. We're going to see. Okay. Let's look at the next method of characterization. Thoughts, speech, and actions. A character's words and actions can reveal his or her personality. Ask, what does the character think, say, or do? How does he or she treat others? What kinds of things are important to him or her? Again, you can think about me, Mrs. Miller. You can think about some of the things I say to you all, and the way that I treat you all, the way that you see me treating others, uh, the things that are important to me. Push pause on the video and turn and talk to the people uh, at your table. Okay, let's look at the fairy godmother. The fairy godmother thought to herself, I'd better get to work. I have only eight hours to get Cinderella ready for the ball. And from what I've seen of her, I'll need every second of it. So based on what the character is thinking, we can see that she is a hard worker. She's saying she better get to work. She has a lot of work to do. So even this description up here of her physical appearance and now what she's thinking, I could see that she is a hard worker and she's concerned about others. Okay. 
Let's look at other characters. Other characters' reactions to a character can also serve as clues. Ask, what do the others think and say about the character? How do they treat him or her? So think about, hmm, if, if our real life was a story, you and your classmates, what do you think about me, Mrs. Miller? How do you treat, how do you treat me? How do uh, you see others treating me? Let's look here from the story. Cinderella's wicked stepsister shrieked when she saw the fairy godmother. What is this disgusting woman doing in my home? Have her removed at once. So based on the character's reactions, we can see, because remember, she looks kind of dirty right now, and the wicked step, she's a wicked stepsister, so she doesn't know why a fairy godmother would be in her home, and this helps us understand the uh, fairy godmother even more. She's not concerned about rules right now. She is concerned about getting her job done. Let's look at the last example, or the last method of characterization is narrator's comments. Sometimes the narrator tells you directly about a character. Ask, what does the narrator say about the character? Does the narrator respect the character or criticize him or her? The fairy godmother knew how to handle wicked people. In fact, she was frighteningly clever. Okay, so based on her physical appearance, thoughts, speech, and actions, other characters, and the narrator's comments, I know that the fairy godmother is, she's hard working, she cares about others, I also know that she is kind. Okay, so I used these methods of characterization to figure out the traits or qualities of the fairy godmother. Now, let me tell you what your assignment is. Now that we've gone over this page together, your assignment is to use the information on this page to complete the note-taking page. So you'll fill in the information and then we will be going over this page together in class.